You're up for Rick Rubble once again. Welcome to uh, Comedy Night here at the, uh, the Funny Bonus Christmas Wish Night. Thank you very much for coming out. We appreciate it. Uh, otherwise known as Occupy Funny Bone, where 1% of the jokes get 99% of the laughs. This is just not going to be... It's going to And it's unfair because the other jokes feel bad. They don't get laughs because the big comedians are all the big comedy hogs. They have comedy greed and they steal the laughs. Uh, first of all, I have to apologize for the mustache. Uh, <laughs> I know, you saw me on Crime Stoppers. <laughs> That's him, Dan! Uh, well, there's a, uh, it's a, it's the month of Movember. It's, it's this madness health thing. It's like prostate cancer awareness and, uh, testicle cancer awareness and, uh, by the way, they had a ribbon, but you can't believe we had to tie the damn thing, which is... I'm out of this life. I'm out of this life. Hi, I'm Michael Jackson. My sleep number is 12. Ounces of profile. Hey, did you guys, anybody watch the trial? The Michael Jackson? I mean, it was on in the middle of the day, so losers like me were really the only people that watched. Not nearly the... You know, the, the, the intensity of this was not nearly like the OJ. The OJ trial, at any time you could expect the juice just might get pissed and start choking people right there in the courtroom. And Conrad Murray is just this laid back guy from the Caribbean. He doesn't care. You know what I'm saying, bro? Whatever. I do that time standing on my head. Uh, uh, I got into, I was almost addicted to the thing, actually. It's in kind of an ironic twist to it all. We, uh, uh, we get up really early to go do the radio show. So most of us take a little nappy in the afternoon. So I got this really, really horrible habit of coming home and putting on the Michael Jackson trial and then falling asleep to it, which there were days when I didn't think I was waking up again. <laughs> I mean, the last voice you hear is, it's okay, go to sleep, you're fine. Not going, and you know what, and I don't, here's what I don't get, you know what, this pisses me off a little bit. Because the guy, they hire the guy to be his doctor, he tells his doctor he's having trouble sleeping, his doctor puts him to sleep, I believe he's still sleeping. <laughs> I don't get what the big fuss is. Ah, boy. Hey, I, uh, uh, I took it Viagra before the show, so the first, first four, four or five rows are probably in danger. <laughs> Just, we're going to kind of have a 3D interactive moment, you and me. Did you ever go to SeaWorld? They have the splash zone. You don't want to be in this. You do not want to be in this. Viagra is the reason I stopped watching football on Sundays. I can't do the damn commercials anymore. And I know comedians have talked ad nauseum about this, but I just got to get this off my chest. That, these are the most inane premises for TV commercials. The guys formed a band. None of them can get a hard on. So let's start a band. No, no. Eight guys that can't get an erection don't form a band. They form a suicide pact. That's what they form. Okay, Bob, here's what happens. You hold the dynamite, I'll get the coyote to drop an anvil on my head. Somebody will run through the fake cave, the roadrunner will live. Let's do it. Unfreaking believable. So they got the band, and then and then the new Viagra is this <laughs> it's even worse. The dude, have you seen that the guy uh, is he's on a boat, a sailboat, by himself. And dude, who takes a wiener pill to go sailing on by and the imagery, this is what's hysterical. The commercial is filled with pictures of him touching the mast. It's, and the mast is like an effing sequoia. It's out there. He's fiddling with it and touching it and breaking the seas, yar. Yeah. And then there's the other one, the Cialis one. Uh, uh, this is the one that ends when they're in bathtubs next to each other in the front yard. I don't know what city you guys live in. Uh, Virginia Beach not thrilled with bathroom fixtures in the front yard, huh? Hey, what a great idea this is. 
And the only reason I noticed this one is, is, you know, they have the warning if you have an erection in the last four hours, call your doctor <laughs> and your neighbor and the news and anybody ever teased you in high school. But there's two other things, and this got my attention. I never heard this before. The uh, uh, it says discontinue use if you begin to lose sight or hearing. Dude, you know how many pills they're gonna sell now? Imagine this. Imagine an erection so majestic that it renders you both blind and deaf. That's how I want to die. They're gonna be there, they're gonna look at my grave, and say, yeah, son of a bitch, look at him. Oh, I feel bad for him. Yeah, he erected himself to death, Biff. What's with the mailbox? That was, uh, we just had to have something to put on the part we couldn't bury. Not really the best. 